new construction neighborhoods coming soon to Summerlin. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today we're going to be talking about new construction neighborhoods that will be coming soon to Summerlin. As you know, I am your local Summerlin expert and I like to keep you guys informed about what is happening, especially in new construction in the Summerlin master planning community. But before we get started, do me a favor, make sure you like this video, but most importantly, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> so let's get started. So, you know, Summerlin, as you know, I do numerous videos on it. It's been around for over 30 years. They say another 20 years, but the rate things are going, it's probably maybe another 15 years. And all that Summerlin has left is maybe five more villages, all on the west side of Summerlin, Summerlin West. And so we're gonna go over a couple things that'll be coming soon to the Red Point Village and a couple things that will be coming soon to the Kestrel Village. So Kestrel Village is one of the newest, absolute newest villages in Summerlin. They only have Crested Canyon right now that's actively selling houses, but we'll get into further detail about Kestrel Village when we get there. So the Red Point Village has been around since 2020. It started right during the whole pandemic and, um, and it's still growing. There's still little pockets, the little surprises that are left. The newest community that will be coming to the Red Point Village is called Arches by Lennar. So Arches won't be available until fall of 2022 and it's gonna be located just right um, east of the Kings Canyon community by TriPoint Homes. Uh, if you take Far Hills West and then take a right, which would be north on Far Hill Drive, the arches will be on the right hand side, just right below Kings Canyon. This beautiful community will feature all single story homes with the everything included package by Lennar. They are larger single story homes ranging between 3,775 square feet to 3,997 square feet. Um, of the three models, two of them will have a next gen suite. So that is awesome. I do like Lennar when it comes to their next gen suites. They may not pay me very well. They may not even pay me at all. Typically in Summerlin, they tend to pay agents a co-op fee. So um, in this community, two of the models will have a next gen suite. Now, if you wanna learn more information, I have created a blog post for this, but also you can always go to my website at summerlincommunities.com, just find the village, Red Point Village, and it goes over all the new construction that is happening in that Red Point Village, Red Point Square, Kestrel Village, etc. And next is going to be Arroyo's Edge by TriPoint Homes, and they will start selling they already started the VIP interest list. I have a client that signed up for the VIP list. So I do believe they will start um, selling in May, but in order to get on the VIP list, contact me. We can make arrangements for that. You will need to get pre-approved by a TriPoint lender in order to move forward and be put on that VIP list. The one good thing about buying into a community when it just starts out is that you already will gain equity by the time that community ends. Now, granted, you may not be getting the best lots, but ultimately you are going to gain equity super fast, um, especially being able to be part of the beginning of the build. Typically homes in um, when the homes are first released tend to be built faster than if you were to wait out through the different phases because they're focusing on that one home. I hope that makes sense. But if you know me, I love TriPoint. It's one of my favorite builders. Now these are gonna be smaller um, single family homes. They're not condos, but they are smaller in size. They're gonna be ranging between 1,953 square feet to 2,280 square feet. They do have three different floor plans to choose from. I'm not gonna go over the different floor plans. Again, I've created a blog where you can learn more about all the different floor plans. I'm just here to let you know 
what is coming soon to the Summerlin villages or Summerlin community. Official unveiling for Arroyo's Edge is slated for the end of June, July timeframe. FYI on that. Now we're gonna go over to the Kestrel Village and the Kestrel Village is, as I mentioned earlier, the newest Summerlin Village. It is a little further north west than the other villages like Red Point and Red Point Square. Um, it is actually located just south of Reverence, but still off of the 215 and Lake Mead. Now, um, Kestrel Village, and then there's going to be Kestrel Commons. I had thought that originally the Kestrel Village, very confusing on how they're going to do it, because like with Red Point Square, they had more of a um, smaller homes, a little more affordable townhome type thing. Um, and then you had Red Point Village. So I was thinking that the Kestrel Commons was going to be more similar to Red Point Square. And then the Kestrel would be more like Red Point. But I'm still trying to figure it all out. They don't really release as much information as they should. We just have to, I just go up there often and try to see what types of builders are out there and then do further investigation. So I found out that a new community called Blacktail by Pulte Homes will be coming soon. Of course, they have not released the prices or when they're going to be available. Just like all the others, they never release the prices because things can change by the time the community is released. Um, but Blacktail is going to be, uh, let's see. They're all going to be like three-story homes, ranging between 2,300 square feet to 2,572 square feet. And they're similar to the models of American West down in the southwest part of the valley. If you're not aware that a couple years back, Pulte Homes bought out American West. So they kind of intermix their models together. Um, so these floor plans are going to be similar to what you can find down in the southwest part of the valley when it comes to American West three-story homes, but it's going to have the Pulte name. They're going to have four different floor plans to choose from. So that's kind of cool to see what that's going to look like. I'm not sure if they're going to have rooftop decks or not. And the next new one that's actually finally got some more information on is Falcon Crest by Woodside Homes. And all I know is, again, it's going to be coming soon. Prices have yet to be released. Actually, they say on the website, prices are from the 700s. These are all single-story homes, which is nice. I love having single-story communities. And I heard it's similar to the one in Stonebridge. It's called Scott's Pine, I think. So the square footage on these lots are going to be anywhere between 1950 to 2218. Again, all single story homes. I did do a video months back on Kestrel, kind of just showing you where things are located um, land wise. I should go back and do an update to see exactly where, um, what other new builders are going to be coming into that community and what the progress is over there. Uh, I can't wait for the road to finally be completed from Lake Mead all the way to Far Hills. That's going to be pretty awesome because I live off of Lake Mead. So, you know, just that way. I mean, I don't mind going the freeway, but it'd be nice just to go straight from Lake Mead to take the, the side streets over. Now, there are going to be a couple other new communities coming soon to Kestrel. No other information has been released, but the name of the community and the builders. You have Nighthawk um which is KB Homes, and then also Vero by Woodside Homes. Again, as soon as I know more information about what type of builders will be coming to the Kestrel Village, I will always let you guys know. Now remember, when you do buy new construction, and I say this in every video, you need a local expert that knows the communities, like me. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin, and you need to have that agent with you on your very first visit. I'm not going to go into detail about why you need me to represent you, but if you want to learn more, just check out my Zillow reviews and why clients attest to having a real estate agent when buying new construction. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video and if there are other villages that I don't know about that are coming to the Kestrel Village or Red Point Village or Red Point Square Village. Um, that would be awesome uh, because, you know, it's hard to learn everything, especially when it's not, you can't Google it and it's not there. 
Anyways, folks, if you're thinking about buying new construction in the Summerlin area, you know, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer-seller form down in the description below. As always, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.